come on in. My house is safe. This is just my kitchen table with thousands of dead people around it. How's it going, everyone? It's HG Tyvek. We're back again with Dark Souls 3. If you remember last time, we did a bunch of little side things, basically all around Firelink Shrine. We found the Firekeeper's soul. We bought the Tower Key for 20,000 souls, not in that order. We also started Yol's Hollowing side quest. And we killed the Crystal Lizard and the Uchikitana guy. This time, I figure we're going to continue on our journey. We're going to touch this Altar of Despair and see what happens. Let's go. And that's all it does. <laughs> oh, man. Anticlimactic much? So I know I'm probably going to get a comment eventually. It's like, oh, that, that's not a... That's, that, that, that. Yeah, whatever. All right. So that was a failed intro. That's fine. We're going to go back to the dilapidated bridge. Because while I have no souls now, I feel a little risky. I can't believe that actually just happened. Oh, I thought it was like the, uh, the Shrine of Bloodborne. Oh, well. You win some, you lose some. Come on, buddy. I want to play. Hey. Hey, you. Hey. Hey, there you are. Okay, so, if all that does is an altar, there's gotta be something else, and I'm imagining the way to go is actually through the door that we discovered the first time by accident. So that's what we're going to explore this time around. However, I think there's actually stuff up here, which might be worth taking a look at, and I don't know if... Okay, those arrows hit up here. If we hide behind these trees, we're fine. No, we're not fine. Oh god. Ow. Stop. Oh! Okay. Well, this was a great way to start an episode. Something just died over there, and I don't know what it was. Uh, oh, there's an item. Mordekon's ashes? Is that what that said? Is he done? Did he stop firing at me? Cleric's hat! He's got a new set. I think that's actually the first full set that I've picked up. And it was an ambush. Well, shit. Interesting. Anything else? I think I'm safe from the arrows up here. Are you a person? Oh, you're a dead body. Okay, we're safe from arrows up here, so let's take a look at what we just picked up that cleric set. First of all, we got the blue wooden shield. A wooden shield painted bright blue, the symbol of clerics who have become undead, close to a small shield in size. Wood shields are light, manageable, and offer relatively high magic absorption. You know, basic stuff. Cleric hat. Hat worn by the cleric turn undead. Typical attire for blue ropes travelers. It is said that they were entrusted with a duty. Still, its nature is yet to be revealed. They bore large covers on their backs to ensure that they would not become seed beds for spreading darkness. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So it's light armor, so I don't plan on wearing that right now. However, are the arrows done flying? Is that the secret? No, they're definitely not done. I just heard one. Ow. Alright, so how do I get that item? That's what I want! Or, we get knocked into a hole. <laughs> Timing at its finest. 
So, that item is its not hard to get. I found the spot you gotta jump. I just have to not do it right when an arrow is flying at me. Ow. Ow. Yo, the arc of attack, though. That arc of attack, though. <laughs> oh my god, what just happened? I just got wrecked by a radius. Wrecked by a radius, everyone. My new shirt. On sale now. It's not really on sale. Uh, for a second he was going to hit me with that fucking attack again from behind him. Now that you're dealt with, I can collect my zero souls. I guess someone had to kill me before I could retrieve my good souls. Come on, boys. Oh my god, you missed? Take those. That, that was not even close, bro. Come on. Thank you. I could totally kill these guys super easily. I would just much rather kill them this way. It's more fun. Uh, but I don't think he's going to shoot them anymore. Oh, I lied. He killed that one for me. Wait for the arrow to come down. Then make your jump. That fucking dodge was perfect. Undead bone shard. Oh, don't kill me! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Alright, let's look at the item. Again. Oh, this is the uh wait a minute. That dead bone shard, where is it? Interesting, I can't find the undead bone shard. Hmm. Alright, well let's look at this. This is what we picked up before I died three times. Umbral Ash of the Resident of the Undead Settlement, who made a living burying corpses. With this, the Shrine Handmaiden will prepare new items. Hmm. Interesting. So where is... Is it not an item? We picked it up, no? Is it? Did we lose it because we died? This is going to drive me insane that catalyst we don't have any of those oh there it is okay <clears throat> ah, undead bones that yet to burn cast it into a shrine bonfire to boost the recovery provided by the Estus flask the bonfire cinders are the bones of undead and the bones that still burn is the fresh cinder indeed before feeding upon death one must first pray Awesome, so this is the item that you're going to want to collect to increase the power of your Estus Flask. So you have now ways to get more Estus with the Estus Shards, and you have the Undead Bone Shard that will uh, increase its power, which is very, very useful. So, a couple episodes ago, I was totally wrong in saying that item would probably be useless. That's incredibly useful. Get. Sorry, I lost my train of thought again. <clears throat> Let's try to get back to. Uh, the, the place that I can't think of with words and stuff. I want my souls, definitely. 
Even though they're only like 300, I still would like them. I don't know where that shot was, but it didn't kill anything. the dudes. Killed most of them. I definitely just killed a shit ton of them. I think we went over there already. Oh god, this guy's coming for me. Okay, we're good. We're gold. Let's just, for shits and giggles, let's see if they dropped anything when they died. Wait, it's back? How is it back? Oh, there's more than one item. We gotta do it. We gotta do it. I can't see! No, 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 come on! Oh my god. Alright. We're just suiciding for it. 1500 souls is like nothing. Death montage? Am I, am I sent? I've died more times to this fucking guy with his crossbow than actually monsters in this game. Holy shit. We just like tripled my death count right there. It's doing so well too, man. Why are my souls there? I'm in a terrible fucking spot. Of course, he's gonna stand right where my souls are. Ow. Can't see because the fucking smoke! Wait, now there's no item? What? Wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute. I got baited. God, please! We're running. We're running. <clears throat> Probably just cracked the mic like 15 times right there. Holy shit. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to go back and look, but I swear to God I saw another item there. It must not have registered that I picked it up. That's weird, man. It's really weird. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> All right, so here we are. This was where we were trying to get all along. Ah, excuse me. I need a drink after that very, very stressful bullshit we just experienced. What do we have here? Another bitch that's gonna throw magic at us. It's not fun. I don't know what you... Oh, it's a dog. Okay, she found us. Where are you going? <laughs> How that range... Oh, ho, 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 ho. That was about to be another death. Holy shit. Alright, you know what? I don't feel like dealing with you guys the normal way. Oh, now you split up. Now that I get my fire bombs ready, you little bastards. You don't feel like attacking? Fine, I'll back to that view. Okay, now that you fuckers split up, now you're backing up. Do you not want to fight me? What is going on with these dudes? Oh my god, that's stamina. Yeah, fuck. You take two hits. Just walk up and smack you. Hello, doggy doggy. Why will enemies not attack me? There we go, that's better. Hit me. Make me hurt. An ember, that's it. Alright. <clears throat> well. 
so somewhere up there is where that crossbow's going off. Or the ballista, or whatever you want to call it. Hmm. Interesting indeed. I'm like looking to see if these guys are jumping off because they see items, or if they're just jumping off because they're silly. I want to check over here first. I came down here before. Hmm. Did we really come down here before? Yeah, I remember this. This was the sewer, no? Yeah, this is the sewer right here. Huh. I don't remember this. Well, I mean, I remember it, but I don't remember when we did it. It must have been before we fought the tree. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Like uh, I said a couple episodes ago, the I record like three or four bunches of episodes at one time, and then I don't get to play again for like, ow, a week. So you have to forgive me if I forget some things that I've done, because it's normally a pretty good uh, amount of time before I can play again, so just don't hit me with your radius. He was about to hit me with that radius. Oh, that poise. Oh. We're good. We're golden. We're fine. Still didn't drop anything. Now oh, it looks like there's stuff down there. Oh my god, he lived? I thought he died. There's gotta be a way to get down there normally. Probably in one of these buildings. I really do not feel like... Oh wait, if I walk, can I kick him off? Because that would just be hilarious. Oh baby, here we go. No! It's fine. It's fine, he fell. <laughs> I fucked up my kick. I fucked up my kick really bad. Alright, anyway. What else is up here? Deserted corpse, another well. Hmm. This village seems to be very deserted. Holy shit, that scared the fuck out of me. Oh my god, Frumsoft, why? <laughs> Frumsoft, why do you do this? That clip in though, that was pretty bad. <laughs> I don't know if that shows up on the recording, it probably will. So I don't know if that's a dude up there or if that's a, a statue, but either way it's terrifying. What the hell are you? Are you a dude? Should I be worried about you? Oh, you're an NPC. Who are you? Hmm. Another one of those unkindled, are you? All you faceless undead, behaving as if you deserve respect. Hmm. No matter. Heed my words. If you've any sense, you go find a coffin to huddle up inside. You here, in this land of hollows. You're like a frail maiden on the front lines. If, like the others, you're fool enough to play the champion, then go on ahead. Trapes right past the abandoned church. You'll face death. And it won't be pretty. Enough death to leave you broken. Time after time. <laughs> yeah. Huh. If like the others, you can go on. <laughs> None of these NPCs tell me their names anymore. It's making me a little sad face. What is this? It's not open from this side. That's an NPC back there, though. So let's explore a little bit. If I jump down there, I'm surely dead. So we're not going to do that. Hmm. Oh, I bet I know. I bet you go down through there and there's a doorway. Yeah, I bet that's it. 
So let's go up instead, see what's up here. Wait, we did this too! I remember all of this. We came down... Oh, we came down this way! I ran... Now I remember. Okay. So that was the undead settlement. Ah ha ha, now I remember doing all this because I didn't go up those stairs because I was terrified. I ran this way and then went through the sewers. Now it all makes sense. Okay, now that I've gotten myself back into where the fuck I am and what we've done, let's go back into these sewers because I really, really, really want to see what's going on. And now if I remember... There's a shit ton of rats and a huge rat at the end. Now, I don't know if the huge rat is going to respawn or not. Let's find out. It's definitely there, I see it. Well, we killed the little ones with that. Yep, there you are. For a big rat, you have, like, no HP, so you're pretty easy to kill, I think. This is the door right here? No. Is there another one? This one, right here. It's locked, so we don't have the key, which means we need to find the key to save her. Okay, so where do we find the key? Hmm. I thought I've done a pretty good job of exploring so far. Could be wrong though. Could have missed quite a bit. Or you have to come back later. That's also a very common thing in these games. Getting an item in a later area. Oh, I'm stupid. I could literally just go through. Okay. Well, see, this is the things. <laughs> these are the things you need to know, ladies and gentlemen. Now I know, I can just skip all these rats and run this way to get to where we're going. However, you're going to have to deal with the big rat and little rats and then the dog that's right here. I mean, I'm sure he'll fall down, but this is probably a much faster way to get to this way. But now we know, so there you go. I guess we're just going to move forward then, because there's nothing really else to do. I can't get down there yet. Might as well just move forward. Let's, let's go to this terrifying church. First, we're going to look for items, of course. Because I love me some items. Then we're going to go to these scary church doors and open them up. Uh, excuse me. Oh, hello! Hmm. Mm. You can see his eyes. He's in there. He's a person. Pardon me, I was absorbed in thought. I am Siegbert of Katarina. To be honest, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Have you ever walked near a white birch only to be struck by a great arrow? Well, if I'm not mistaken, they come from this tower. Whoever it is, I'm sure I can talk some sense into them. But I have to find a way up. And that's just the trouble. This lift only goes down, you see, and... Uh, well, that doesn't get me anywhere. Hmm. Hmm. I love Zygward. Zygward was one of my favorite NPCs in Dark Souls 1. This lift with a... I've got to use my... Hmm. Sorry, I thought it was going to be the same this thing. This lift with a little warm... Hmm. So I wonder if... 
pulling this does anything. No. What you're supposed to do is this. And the uplift will come back down. At least in theory it will. This lift with I hmm. Fine, then I'll go without you. Toodles. That looks like a very secret area that I want to explore. That looks like another one. We're going to be taking this lift a lot, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look. Another item. Oh, God. That is a dude. Uh, hello? Who are you? I help any time. <laughs> what? I help any time. He, he's just a giant. He's like Hawkeye Goff. I help. So now he won't shoot me anymore? Is that what this is? He won't destroy me with his fucking arrows and kill me 15 times anymore? Losing all of my deaths? <laughs> Alright, thanks dude, appreciate that. Alright, I guess we just go back down. Gave me a... Hmm. <gasps> I just killed myself! No! Rip. Rip the dream, the dream is dead. Alright, well, at least we know. I'll see you guys when I get back there. Alright, we're back at the church. I tried to fight the big guys. That was a mistake when I could just run. So, alright. I killed myself, and I think this is the elevator that's going to go up. At least it should go up. So let's go up. Now, I need to look. Or mm. There is it, right there. I jumped. Okay, so we're gonna ride this elevator a couple times and get the timing down and stuff, so. Hmm. Gotta look on this side. Hmm. There we go, we got it this time. <clears throat> However, that doesn't help in the other situation. There you are, Sigurd. Can I go this way at all? Nope, just this way. Hmm. Hmm. Ah! Oh! Don't disappear like that. You had me downright worried. But thanks to you, an epiphany has struck me square in the head. I've unraveled the riddle of this inscrutable lift. <laughs> you mean just wait for the other one to come? On some days, I begin to doubt myself. I went up the tower, so I thought, then somehow ended up here. I'm not exactly sure what happened. Anyhow, do you see that? That humongous beast? I'm no coward and I have a steady hand, but that thing makes my skin crawl. How now? Think twice before you go down that road. I could try talking some sense into him. No, I think I've got to... I know what to do. Don't worry, buddy. We got this. As an old friend of mine once said, Leroy Jenkins, bitch! No! You should have waited! Well, it's too late now. I, Zigward of the Knights of Katarina, fight by your side! Ah! Get him, Zigward. Oh 
Oh my god, he killed me! <laughs> he straight up fucked my day up. <laughs> Alright, I'll be right back again. Alright guys, we're back. I really wasn't expecting to get one shot by that thing. He fucked me up. I'm looking the wrong way. God damn it. So just for my own tits and giggles. No, it's just this one. Oh fuck, I'm dead again. Oh, Alright, I'm just gonna... <sighs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> I'll be back when I'm with Siegward this time. I won't cut out any deaths. But I'll be back. <sighs> okay. We're back. I did it. It's much easier to do it going up than it is going down. Just giving you guys that heads up. I could try. I've so, we're going to try and fight this monstrous beast again, and hopefully not get fucking one-shot. So basically just aggro him, and then wait for Siegward. Hey, you fuck butt. There we go. Oh, he's mad. He's really mad. No! You should have waited! Well, it's too late now. I, Siegward of the Knights of Katarina, fight by your side! Ah! That was definitely the move that he used to one-shot me last time, that fucking jump. Alright, we got him. We co opt the shit out of him, boys. What the fuck are you doing? <sighs> that was quite a performance. But you mustn't get in over your head. We unkindled must put our duties first. But, for the moment, we've a toast to make. To your valor! My sword and our victory together. Long may the sun shine. <laughs> yes, you know damn well what's getting equipped right now, boys. A toast to you, Siegward. We are quite amazing fellows. <laughs> While we're toasting with our buddy, let's see what item we got. We got Sieg Brow. On this joint. That's some kind of foreign language that I can't speak. Special brew of Siegward of Katarina. Perfect for travel in a jolly barrel mug. Restores HP and temporarily reboosts frost resistance. Leave it to Siegward to discover a drink that even an undead can enjoy. Perhaps its long years spent undead have left him wanting to drain a cup or two and reveal if he was still amongst the living. That's awesome. I love this emote. Toast to jolly cooperation. Well, I'm going to have myself a little nap. The only thing to do, really, after a nice toast. <laughs> he literally just went to sleep. <gasps> we got sleep. Alright, enough being a, a little child. I'm just saying, though, guys, if you don't think Siegward is the best NPC in the game, you're just you're you're, you're just wrong. I'm sorry. Siegward is the best. I'm sorry I killed you. <laughs> Alrighty. So while our buddy's sleeping, we'll explore this area a little bit. Oh, also we got that fire gem. Let's take a look at that real quick. A gem of infused titanite found in rare cases inside demons. Used to infuse to create fire weapons. Fire weapons inflict fire damage but lose scaling effects. So. Just more 
more infusing stuff. I don't know if we're going to be infusing that much in this playthrough, but we'll see. Like I said, I still have no idea. The few things that I have seen on this game are very, very, like, you know, minor things. I don't know all the weapons. I have an idea of what weapon I want to use, but it's not 100% set in stone yet, because I don't know what the scaling is, I don't know what the stats are, things like that. However, that weapon is amazing. Large wooden club requires considerable strength to wield. Characterized by savage leaping attacks, its weight makes it easier to break the guard of shields. Its skill is Warcry. Let out a spirited Warcry that temporarily boosts attack and enables special consecutive strong attack. Wow. Large club was always a fantastic strength weapon in previous Souls games, so of course if you're going strength like I am, it's always very, very useful to get that. I think if I do a running attack, or I can just chop it down by aiming up. A pale tongue. That doesn't sound very nice. And what is this? Northern helmet, northern armor, northern gloves, and northern trousers. That looks like some good armor. This is a pretty lore heavy episode, guys. I do apologize. What do we have here? Iron Helm of a Stalwart Northern Knight, engraved with an ornate pattern. Iron defense wears great superior stability, being from the north, it should also offer resistance to cold. Iron Armor of a Stalwart Northern Warrior, supported by the interwoven chainmail. Iron defense grants super, okay, yada yada yada. So these are really good in resisting cold things. Trousers of the Stalwart North Warrior Thick Okay. So let's us take a look, because we've been wearing the same armor from the beginning of the game. So this actually gives me the same defense and uh, physical and thrust, but increases versus slash and strike. It also lowers my equip load. I lose a bit of defense against magic attacks but I think this is actually a pretty good upgrade in Helmet. Plus the Frost Bleed and Poise. Oh god, it does plus three points of Poise. So that's interesting. Selection, what do we have here? This is a straight up, up downgrade. <laughs> it's good for Strike, but everything else is a pretty big loss. Besides Fire Resistance by plus one. Interesting. Very good against uh, the Effect Resistances, but it's the same equipped as the Knight Armor, so... In terms of the Northern Gloves, losing some equipped, but not really gaining anything else. And then the Northern Trousers are not very good either. So I think what we're going to do is equip this helmet, because this helmet is straight up better. And now I look very weird. <laughs> I look like a bullet. Alright, just so you know, you guys are, you know what's going on. If you remember, if you're wondering why I have blue hair, I can tell you one thing. Look at my character's name. If you remember back to the very first episode, I told you about my character's name, and I said I would bring it up later. Well, there it is. If you don't get the reference, comment. If you do get the reference, like. Okay, what else do we got? Hopefully a bonfire is coming up soon. This episode's running a bit long. However, there was a lot of cuts, so... Can't really say that. It's one of these guys is gonna fall down. Red bug pellet? I knew that was going to happen eventually. Okay. I knew that was coming. I just didn't know which ones it would do it to. 
to alluring skulls, really? That simple fucking item and that's what you do? I haven't really been two-handing my weapon that much. Uh, I've been really focused on using my shield. Because I'm not used to using shield that much. Like I said before, um, that you're definitely alive. However, if you just one-shot these things like this, this is pretty great. Yeah, I'm not used to using a shield, so I've been really focusing on using it a lot more. And not only that, it's making... It's proving to be very useful. Uh, the shield is very, very good. Especially the knight shield, the starting one. So, that's why I really haven't been two-handing my weapon that much. It's just been very effective just using one-handed strikes and using a shield. And that is a chest. And there's no blood stains, so the chance of this being a mimic is low, but I'm going to hit it anyway. Okay, it's not a mimic. Okay, I'm going to try... See these chains right here on the side? In Dark Souls 1, if the chain pointed the end of it back to the where the wall... It was typically a good chest, however, if it pointed towards you, that was a Mimic. Now, I have to go back and look at my other episode, where the Mimic was. Oh. But I think it's the same in Dark Souls 3. Oh my god! You're throwing poop at me? Is that what you're doing? Wow. Listen. Listen! But yeah, always check the chains, and if you're still uh, not 100% sure, just give it a whack. You won't break the chest with one hit, and if it's a mimic, you'll hit it. Human pine resin? That seems a bit dark. So I don't think fire is going to do much damage to them. What is this? Applies dark attacks to the right-handed weapon. Charcoal pine resin of a, with a rotted human body. Normally used to end that settlement for preserving of the burials can be mature into this state, becoming a vulnerable substance used in certain ceremony, often seen in trade of the dishonorable. Okay, interesting. We're going to look at items real quick before I do this, just because I looked at my items, so. Proof of a red orb's invaded victory over a host of embers. Claiming tongues as trophies was originally the practice of an infamous troop of invaders who offered them to the speechless gods. That's gross. Okay, so I think basically we're just gonna have to do this as much as I don't want to. We still have five Estus flasks, so. Unless they just don't attack me. Oh no, they attack me. Ow. Oh god, oh god, I'm stuck. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're not fine, we're not fine, please roll! Okay, we only have one to deal with now. through everything but it's fine oh god that was that was way too stressful oh evangelist hat and evangelist gloves neat we'll look at them at uh the, when we get to the end we've done a lot of item this uh a lot of item what's the word i'm looking for descriptions this this episode so we'll we'll go to the, we'll wait till the end that looks like secret stuff my character decides to do a little dance. <laughs> hmm. A little worried. I have one Estus. 
And we have probably a lot of level left. Jumping off. Hmm. Trying to take in what's going on here. Flynn's ring this early? They had to have nerfed it. We'll look at it when we get to wherever it is that we're going, friends. Ring ahead. I think you missed the ring note, friend. Homeward bones. Always, always nice. Um, what the hell is this? <laughs> Am I literally just supposed to jump? Over there. Well, I don't trust this for shit. Okay. Mira's vest, gloves, and trousers. Chloranthi ring? Oh my god, they're giving you so many good items early on. And now we're back here. So, you can color me confused as to what the hell I'm supposed to do from this point. I guess find that ring. Or the key. I'll drop down? Yeah, you can color me very confused as what I'm supposed to do at this point. However, I think with that... We're gonna homeward bone the fuck out of here. And we're gonna call this episode because it is a long one. I know I made a lot of cuts, I know there were a lot of deaths in this one, but... We got a ton of new stuff. Uh, we're gonna take a look at all those item descriptions next episode. And just a, you know, little bit of a fun reminder time. And I'm going to try to figure out what the fuck to do. So thank you guys once again so much for watching. I appreciate it greatly. Please leave this video a like or a dislike, whichever you feel it deserves. Leave a comment if you want to chat or if you feel like I've missed any important items or anything along those lines. And as always, subscribe. That way you know when the next episode comes up or anything else that I post. Thank you once again for watching. Have a toast for me for Sigurd. Take it easy, guys.